Hello YouTube. Today I have a very special guest. My daughter. What's your name? I forget. Nah. Is it Ivy? <laughs> yeah, I'm joined by Ivy. Are you going to say hello? Nah. And today we are going to scout some camping locations in our cam um, camper van, aren't we? Yes, we're going to sleep at home in our camper. We're sleeping at home in our camper? Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, that can be, camper. yeah, that can be our plan, but we can also go and look at other locations if you want to. Or do you just want to sleep here? To sleep here. Well, we'll see how it goes then. Right, so we've arrived at our first possible location for the night. Um, there is a spooky turn to it though. Um, well, we're parked right there. My daughter didn't want to get out, but I didn't realise that. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can see through there, but there's a gravestone right there. And if you can't see there, I'll show you the other way. So if we walk this way over here, It could be a good Halloween twist, this. But if I spin you around, there's a church right here. It's got lovely views, if you look over there, for miles, the way we came in. But I'm not really sure I want to be sleeping next to a graveyard. Um, and this is a village called South Ferriby near the Humber Bridge, so it's in North Lincolnshire. And I think this is a park for night location. But yeah, no one said anything about a graveyard, so maybe what I need to do is keep driving up that road a little bit longer. Maybe there'll be breaks in the trees so you can see the view better, because I'd really like that in the morning. I think we won't see it tonight because we'll probably get here when it's dark, but. Yeah, it's always nice to have a view in the morning, isn't it? Right, two things to tell you. Firstly, I've put the microphone on, so hopefully you can hear me a little bit better, because I always forget to do that. And secondly, we've driven up the road a little bit further. We've gone past, or we're right next to, if you can see I'm parked there, and just there is South Ferriby Quarry, which I think is disused. It's the weekend anyway, so no one's going to be around. Um, and the best thing about this, I don't know if you can see, but we've got views for miles. There's, well, the cement factory in South Ferriby over there, I don't know if you can see it, is not really a nice view, but you can see the Humber Estuary over there. Um, if you kept going that way, you can't really see. You've got Yorkshire. Um, but I should probably say that actually, we're looking out over North Lincolnshire here. We're on sort of like a ridge. Um, and yeah, I think this is a better spot. One, we're not next to a graveyard, so it's not a bit freaky. And two, we've got far better views. And again, there's the camper. My daughter's sat in it. She doesn't want to get out. She doesn't look too happy with me. She keeps saying she's bored, so I think we best get going. But I'm hoping to convince her that we can sleep here tonight. But she's trying to convince me that we're sleeping on the drive and we're going to play lots of games like Monopoly. Now, I don't doubt that we'll play Monopoly wherever we are, but I'm just doubting where we, we will uh, be tonight. But regardless of that, I'll come back here if she doesn't want to. Right, so it's now later in the day. We're back at the spot that we scouted out earlier. There's the camper. My daughter's just sat in it. She wants to play Monopoly. And the big thing to announce is that I won. Rather than staying on the drive, we did manage to, or I did manage to convince my daughter, or should I say bribe her, 
with donuts and play Monopoly to come and sleep here instead. So hopefully we'll have a good night's sleep here, some fun playing Monopoly, she keeps waving to me, and wake up to a beautiful view. So I'm going to get in there now before she kicks off and I'm going to beat her at Monopoly. Right, Ivy's going to tell me what the plan is for tonight and then I'll tell you. So what's the plan, Ivy? Um, we're going to play Monopoly and then we'll play Guess Who and then eat a snack while we're watching a film and then go to sleep. Really? Yeah. Oh, high five. And then Sounds like a good in night. the morning we're going to watch um, play Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot. Okay. That sounds good. And Are that's you very our plan. Good at the... Are you very good at rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Me? We'll have to find out in the morning. Well, let's just do one more. Okay. So, we're going to play Monopoly, but we were missing something. What were we missing, Ivy? Uh, a dice and a dog. Yep, yeah, we're missing the dice. The dog is missing as well, so we think the dog has ran away with it, don't we? No, I think it's under the sofa. You think it's under the sofa at home? And the, uh, that side, <gasps> the front, where it's guarding. So we think we're going to try and find something on my phone, or we think we have found one, a dice roller, and we're going but to play with that. Off. But it's turned off, yeah. And it's not as fun as throwing a dice, is it? But should we play Monopoly? Yeah. High five! <laughs> oh, so it strong. Had. Right, let's like get playing. Snap. Yeah. So we've packed Monopoly away now, it's gone, we've got the table free, Ivy is happy because she won, and now she's had her way, so I'm getting my way, I'm getting to make my tea now, which is just going to be a simple um, panini with some bacon and cheese in it, and then after my tea, what are we going to play? Guess who? And I think yours, you have a girl. Apparently, I'll do what? You have a girl the most. I'll have... Apparently okay. I'll have girls the most, and is that a good or bad thing? Good. That's a good thing, so I'm very lucky. Right, we'll catch up with you later. I'm going to eat my tea. And I'm going to eat my donut. Oh yeah, Ivy's getting a donut while I eat my tea, so catch you soon. So I've finished my tea. I've done the washing up. I'm a good boy. Um. And now I think it's time to play Guess Who, or it was going to be time to play Guess Who, but my daughter's gone missing. I don't know if she's gone, ran away somewhere in the dark. Uh oh, what was that? <laughs> oh no, she's still here. Was you hiding under the table? Yeah. You cheeky sausage. Do you want to play Guess Who? Yeah. Okay, one minute. Looks like we are playing Guess Who. So I've just finished playing Guess Who. I got absolutely annihilated by Ivy. You won five games, didn't you? And I only won three. So there's the happy girl who won. How many <laughs> games did you win? Ten? <laughs> no, only five, you cheeky monster. Ugh. Oh dear. But um, now we're going to watch a DVD together. <coughs> so, we have just finished watching what film, Ivy? Angry Birds! Angry Birds. We had some popcorn. It's getting late now, and we've decided that we're going to go to sleep. Um, but I just want to watch TV and eat. Ivy doesn't want to go to bed. I do, of course. Ivy, being the child with unlimited energy, wants to stay awake, but... Yeah, we'll go to sleep, and if anything eventful happens, we'll be back in the night, won't we? Um, otherwise, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Wait. And high five. Oh, say good night. Good night, and I'll punch up, punch. Good morning, sleepyhead. Morning. You're right. 
Good morning. It's morning, look outside. We're a bit steamed up. But it's morning, although you can't really see us at the moment. It's about eight o'clock in the morning, Ivy. It's breakfast time. This is the morning we're greeted with. It is quite cold. We've got the window just slightly open, if you can see it there. And I'll be honest, I did get a bit chilly in the night. Now you can see us properly with the lights on. Good morning. Oh no, Ivy doesn't want to say good morning. We're going to pack these away, get the one off the back window as well. Can I pick it up? Uh, I don't think you'll be able to reach it from here. I can. Go on then. <laughs> yeah, just pull it. Um, uh, See how this goes. Yeah, you're doing it. That'll be fine. Oh! <laughs> Got to remember to get that by opening the boot. Good morning YouTube. I've said morning twice now I think. But anyway, this is where we slept. My daughter's in there at the moment watching Paw Patrol because she's still a bit groggy. But I thought I'd get up and have a look around. Um, I'm sorry I forgot to put the little microphone on. So I'm just using the camera. And hopefully you can hear me above the wind because it is quite windy. Um, and yeah, we slept exactly where we said we were going to. There was um, some noise from the quarry that you can see over there in terms of a few cars arriving and going quite late and then early in the morning and I don't know why but to give you a little view there's the quarry at South Ferriby I don't know why cars were coming and going because I thought it was disused but clearly I was wrong so it's bloody cold um, we get back to the camper now my daughter I've offered her bacon sandwiches but she only wants toast with um, Nutella on so I think that's what we're going to have she'll not be happy when I open this let's get it open hello, hello. I'm just getting some um, I'll get the kettle I'll get a plate for us and Yep, there's some chocolate spread, because that's all you like, is chocolate, isn't it? And that. Yeah. Let's get some chocolate. Hey? Oh, did we forget it? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's inside already. Before I do get breakfast on, I thought there was one cool thing to show you about South Ferriby Quarry in that it's connected to the cement works down at the bottom of this big hill so if I flip the camera around I'll show you what I mean so we'll start over here the quarry is here and then you'll see that the road goes there and then there's a fence there and that fence runs all the way down the hill to the cement works which is over there in the distance where is it there um, and it's got a, in the middle of it, it's like a conveyor belt that carries whatever it is they need from this quarry, whether it's just simply stone, I don't know, um, all the way down there. So I guess you don't need to ship it back, and, well, ship it with lorries and clog up the little village. This is certainly not going to be the most glamorous breakfast we've ever had, is it, Ivy? But she's happy because it's got chocolate on. Although she just wants to eat the chocolate out of here, which she chose from Lidl when we stopped there. But you've got to eat the toast as well. I hate toast. So we've had our 
glamorous breakfast, which was just chocolate with toast on. It was nothing special. It didn't really taste very good cooked like that. We need a, I think we need a little mini toaster or something at I least. I only to... eat the chocolate. You did what, sorry? Eat the chocolate. Yeah, Ivy only ate the chocolate on top, so you're probably going to need a better breakfast soon. So we'll go home and get you a better breakfast. But yeah, it was a thumbs down from Ivy, I think. Um, She, only, she did a thumbs down for the bread and a thumbs up for the chocolate, whereas I thought it was just meh. Um, but yeah, anyway, I watched the nice view whilst... Oh dear, don't do that. Whilst Ivy <laughs> um, watched Paw Patrol. So I think what we're going to do now is head home and see her mummy and brother, but not her bigger sister because she's at a sleepover. Um, so yeah, it's not been probably the most exciting thing to watch but I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless um, and thank you for watching actually before we do go I've got one thing to say and that is I always seem to forget at least one thing and this time I forgot milk um, so I couldn't have a cup of tea in the morning I think last time I forgot the tea bag so I couldn't have a cup of tea then and I really want one but yeah now this is by for now and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm not sure that's the most glamorous breakfast for it, is it is bleh. and I forget milk after